Okay, students, uh, this is a little recording that I'm making for uh, all of you to describe a little bit about the internship. Uh, first of all, I apologize about the lighting. What I'm trying to do is uh, avoid turning on the bulb on the top there, okay, with a fan, so that it doesn't uh, give a backlighting. And instead, I just have a lamp here. Uh, maybe if I take off my glasses, there's less uh, shine. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right, so I've been thinking about the internship uh, under the circumstances of uh, the uh, coronavirus, and it's certainly not uh, safe to be in places for extended time with other people, plus I doubt that many people would uh, give you an internship at this point um, to complete your hours, whether it's in a hospital or clinic or respect like office or the animal rescue center, or uh, even in catechesis, they're doing virtual catechesis in the parishes, etc. So um, if you have a place secure already, certainly you can continue there. But if you're short on the hours for the uh, internship, uh, this is what I figured we could do. St. Thomas University is uh, opening back up, all right, and the students have now uh, a couple of options for participating in the lectures or in class, which is either face-to-face -face or uh, virtual. Uh, what is important for us in that respect is that um, the university is now accepting students back on campus, all right? And the project that I have really is in the forest. It's kind of an extension of the environmental uh, bioethics course to do some work at St. Thomas University Forest. I spoke to you about the forest already in the course a little bit, but uh, let me say a little bit more that we have this, um, ecosystem of uh, slash pine, Dade County slash pine, which is disappearing. It used to cover the whole peninsula really, and especially the southern part of the uh, of the state um, in this variety that we have uh, on campus. And now it's down to about 1% of the original slash pine population, okay, for a number of factors that I can tell you more in detail as uh, we work in the forest. But basically, we're trying to preserve the forest uh, community that we have, the ecosystem that we have at St. Thomas University, because it's so unique in the county and indeed in all of South Florida. Uh, the sad aspect of that forest is that it's also uh, with invasive uh, species that have come in from other parts of the world, uh, grasses from Africa, vines from Southeast Asia, uh, shrubs and uh, bushes from um, South America, etc. And so it needs to be cleaned uh, mostly by hand. And so I need uh, people to work there. And I'm going to uh, accept it as part of the internship in this sense. First of all, we can still talk about the bioethical issues when we work in the forest, uh, pulling out the uh, invasive species that are there, all right? And while we do that, which is mostly manual work, we can talk about the bioethical issues, uh, not only environmental, but also the other aspects of human life that we talked about, and uh, discuss further how moving forward, uh, you will be promoting these issues with other people, with family and friends, uh, acquaintances, even strangers, because at some point we have to uh, resume some sense of normalcy in our lives, okay, as, as we go forward into the weeks and months and years uh, into the future, we can't be expected to uh, stay secluded all the time, you know, indefinitely. So at some point we need to start relating with other people and that's going to be our opportunity to continue to promote the bioethical issues. Plus, even if it's virtual, you know, as soon as uh, family members and relatives and friends find out that you've had uh, courses 
in beginning of life issues and end of life issues. You know, sooner or later these issues come up even in our in our own families and friends, and so they'll be calling for advice, etc., and to ask your opinion about uh, physician-assisted suicide or about in vitro fertilization, etc. So you will have uh, plenty of opportunity going forward to uh, engage others in bioethical issues, all right? Which is essentially what the internship is about, is to engage others in bioethical issues. And so what I'm going to do is, uh, for starters, I'm going to give three to one. In other words, for every hour of uh, work that you do with me in the forest, uh, I will give you three hours of internship equivalency. All right, uh, kind of as an incentive. Also because at this point, we're already um, in uh, July and this thing ends, the internship ends uh, in December. All right, so we don't have that much time. And uh, I'm looking at Saturdays for now, some Saturdays as we go forward. Oh, also because, so we have this issue. Um, the other course, which is the healthcare bioethics uh, course, all right, that is team taught. It's the one course that is actually team taught. And what we have is, uh, what I have for you actually is a number of physicians who are talking about bioethical issues in healthcare. And there are particular topics, modules, I'll be sending you that syllabus uh, um, as we go forward into the semester in August, all right? Um, but basically it's uh, team taught and those lectures are already pre-recorded. Those lectures are pre-recorded so you can watch them. It doesn't have to be on Saturday necessarily. Uh, there will be at least one lecture which will be live will, with, uh, with me, all right? And that one is on transplantations, the bioethics of transplantations. And you'll see that will be one of the last ones that we'll have. Uh, so these, uh, this uh, course coming up on um, human life, um, excuse me for a moment. I'm sorry, I have to take this call. Yes, hello, Samuel. Yes, I'm sorry about that. That was uh, Father Samuel here, the, the, the pastor in the parish where I'm at. <laughs> so I had to uh, pause for a moment. At any rate, uh, I was saying, yes, so the uh, healthcare bioethics course is um, a team taught, it's a series of lectures by different uh, uh, physicians. And so you'll see those, and the one that I will give will be on the bioethics of transplantation, which I have some experience, and um, that will be live, but again, also recorded as uh, always, all right? So that means that it frees up the Saturdays. Also, I need to free up the Saturdays always in the second fall because we have a new cohort coming in, just like you were coming in last fall and I was devoting Saturdays uh, to you, right? I had a previous cohort that was graduating and they were watching the videos of the, uh, of the healthcare uh, course, like I explained. Okay, but um, um, there are only 10 modules. I don't know if you remember from the, uh, first uh, semester last fall, but there are basically 10 modules there when we talked about the uh, aspects of evolution, right? You, including human evolution and uh, integrating it with uh, our uh, faith beliefs. There are 10 modules and we have uh, more starting this Saturday, we have about 20 um, Saturdays coming forward. So uh, about 10 of those Saturdays uh, I can devote to working on the forest and the other time to the teaching of the fundamental course. Plus, it doesn't have to be Saturday either. If some of you are available, I'm thinking that maybe uh, Friday would be a good day also. Typically in the morning, because it's when it uh, rains less on average in the summer, all right, going into the fall, uh, usually it, rain, it tends to rain more in the afternoon, but sometimes it will rain in the morning. So I'm looking at, um, again, about three hours from about 9.30 to 12.30. So we'll 
break after 12.30, let's say more or less, or for, for whatever time that you can stay. Basically, uh, the core of it is this. To go into the forest, all right, in a particular area that we're gonna be working at, um, which is pretty much like the center of the forest, the core, and we'll be cleaning that area and expanding from there outward, little by little, all right? And I will have some equipment for you, but you have to come dressed uh, in a way that is uh, working clothes. So uh, certainly no sandals or anything like that. Basically full cover. For example, uh, long sleeve shirts, uh, pants, and uh, working pants, you know, loose working pants, not for going shopping or anything like that. Uh, shoes like... Um, Mm. Oh, yes. So what I have for you actually is some um, rubber boots that are very good for going into the, into the forest area. And so basically you can come with any shoes you want or even sandals, but bring socks, okay? Bring socks and then you'll put on your own socks and then I'll give you the boots uh, to use for the forest. These rubber boots that are uh, waterproof and so forth. Then... Um, if you have a full brim hat, bring that. If you don't have a full brim hat, I have a few spare hats that I could uh, lend you for the duration. And also, uh, what else? I have gloves for you and whatever other equipment uh, we're gonna use. We're gonna use mostly uh, clippers and lobbers for cutting uh, weeds, all right? And taking out those weeds, put them in, in plastic bags and dumping them in another part of the forest that we'll do we'll use as a, kind of a compost uh, area. All right. I'll explain to you more in detail once uh, we meet there. And we'll meet over by the solar station, which is um, in between the organic garden and the Chiki Hut as you enter St. Thomas uh, at the area of the forest about halfway before we get to the uh, business uh, building, which is practically finished now, you'll see it. Uh, before getting to the business uh, building, it's gonna be on your left-hand side. Um, I'll certainly give you more details, uh, but basically if you're interested in this experience and getting three hours for every hour of work, so for example, if you stay for the three hours uh, beginning this Saturday, uh, then that's nine hours equivalency for the internship. All right, and so I think it's a good deal and you can accumulate your hours that way uh, going forward. Plus it gives you the opportunity to be out in the open in this uh, unique ecosystem, which is uh, uh, the Slash Pine, the Day County Slash Pine. It is a climax community. And so the dominant species there is precisely the Slash Pine which are, uh, simply put, they're majestic, the way they are so uh, thick in the trunk. For some of those trunks, uh, it takes at least one person to go around the entire trunk, all right? And if not, uh, for some of them, actually two people, they're so large and massive, and they only get that size precisely in this area that we're at of St. Thomas University because of the sandy soil that is there and the roots can take extensive growth uh, all the way down to the water table. Anyway, I'll explain those details uh, more uh, for those of you who will come to do some work. So beginning this Saturday, we can do that. We can meet there at 9.30. If you're interested, uh, please uh, call me back. Call me at my cell phone and I'll give you more details of where to park and all that, all right? Okay, so I'm gonna send you now this video and then I'll send you a little text to alert you that I've uh, sent you this video. Uh, hopefully it makes uh, some sense to you, but if you're interested in this experience, call me back and we'll go from there, okay? All right, let me see. I need to uh, close this and then make the little YouTube out of it. Hmm. Thank you, bye-bye.